Yeah, hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to talk about muddy pickups and ways that we can fix that. Now there's a really cool mod that I have used quite a lot of times to fix muddy pickups. It's not just for muddy pickups, it's really customizable and you can use it to tweak the low end to get the sound that you really want out of your pickups without having to shell out and buy a whole new set. Okay, so how does this work? So often when I see a mod like this installed, it's a capacitor in line with the pickup and what that does is it gives a fairly steep roll off and it, to me it can sound a little bit unnatural. So what I like to do is add a resistor in parallel to that capacitor. And I also have a fairly unorthodox way of installing it which gives a few more advantages which I'll show you later on in the video today. So first let me show you how it all works. First up we're going to show you the normal frequency sort of response of a pickup. So if, if this along here is the level and this is the frequency range along here pickup kind of comes up and then it has that the resonant peak that we were talking about um, obviously my drawing skills have slightly improved since last time so what actually happens is when you add a cap in series or in line with that pickup so from the hot wire of the pickup to the switch say what happens is this base down here gets rolled off like super steeply well fairly steeply anyway and it, to me it can sound a little bit unnatural or a little bit strange. So when you add a resistor in parallel to that capacitor, so you have a capacitor and a resistor in parallel and that then is wired in series with the pickup, what it does is it just softens the base so instead of it rolling off like that it kind of rolls off like sort of like that. So a, a way softer bass roll off, which to me sounds a lot more natural. It's just a high pass filter, like a gentle high pass filter. So it's letting those highs pass and it's gently attenuating those lows. So one other thing to note is this mod does shift the phase of the pickup slightly. So that's only a problem when you're combining two pickups together. And it might not even be a problem. It might be a, a sound that you actually prefer, but it's something you sort of should be aware of. The other thing is it can make it react a little differently when using things like fuzz pedals, like how, the, how it feels when you roll off your volume. Just something else to be aware of. Right, so let's install it into a guitar. Right, now this mod works with anything, single coils, humbuckers, any pickups, really. Um, with humbuckers, uh, the thing I like to do is install this in between the coils so I'll show you how to do that later but it seems to lessen that phase shift issue and also it kind of makes them work as you'd expect with a fuzz again so it's quite a cool way to have your cake and eat it too I suppose. Um, right so what I've got here is a 10 nanofarad capacitor. I tend to just stick with one capacitor value and I vary the resistor value so what I'll do is I'll grab a 100k resistor and you just, you're just twisting it between these two legs here so they're in parallel with each other. So let's just do that, I'll show you. Cool, so it kind of looks like this. And what you can replace this resistor with, you could, re you could make that a variable resistor so you could wire that to a pot so you have this sort of absolute tweakable control. There's a lot of things you can do here and a lot of different mods you can do, but I really want to focus on just a simple upgrade that anyone can do and all you need is one cap and one resistor and you can do a whole bunch of experimentation to find out what works. I find things start to work from around 10k up to about 1 meg seems to be the, the maximum that um, you get any effect from but sort of anywhere between 10k and 500k or 470k seems to be seems to work well. I've put 100k on here and that's a nice tweak and that's the great thing about this you don't have to it doesn't have to be a full-on bass roll-off. You can just reshape the low end of your pickup. It's a great mod to be able to really customize the sound that you're after, and it's really, really simple. So anyway, once it's like that, I just, let me just chop this. I just touch a bit of solder just to sort of seal it once it's twisted together. Like that. It just kind of um, locks it in, I suppose. So now that's ready to go. That's basically ready to go into your guitar. So we'll show you how to install this. And before we do that, guys, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you on board. We've got some really cool mods and other projects on the way. So hit that subscribe button. Anyway, let's get into this next part. The first thing you want to locate is the wire coming from your humbucker or the four conductor cable, or it might be a two conductor cable. Okay, in this case, we've got a four conductor cable. Now the advantage of this is that I can install, easily install this in between the coils and I'll show you how to do that in a minute but first I'll show you 
what you need to do if you've got a two conductor cable. You'll have two wires to deal with if it's two conductor, just say you've got a single coil or a humbucker that is non four conductor. Now locate the, the hot wire, that's the one normally going to the switch, in this case it's this black one here. And you, I've trimmed this, this down, but you'll need to solder the hot wire to one side of this little capacitor resistor monster here. And make sure you uh, insulate this after you've soldered them together so you want to put some heat shrink over or something like that. And then the other end of that will just go to the switch where the wire came from basically. Now the way I like to do it with humbuckers if I can, there's two wires always joined together when you're dealing with humbuckers. Now you want to pull them apart and you're going to you're going to solder this in between those two wires. So the red one would get soldered onto one side, the white wire in this case would get soldered onto the opposite side. And the same sort of deal, insulate those with heat shrink or tape them up or whatever you do. I normally use heat shrink because it's nice and tidy. And that will give the exact same effect. But obviously there's those advantages there. So if you can solder this in between the coils, it does work a lot better. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to wire this up so it's switchable. I've got a push-pull pot down here just so when I'm doing a demonstration we can hear the difference. So anyway I'm going to wire this up and then we will test it out. Right we're just going to compare the two sounds. It's not too heavy of a roll-off but you know to be honest I'd probably use a lower value resistor. I really just like to tweak things a little bit but I really wanted you to be able to hear the difference here. So this is the sound we've got um, with the pickup without the modern stall. And this is with it installed. Hey guys, sorry, I just want to cut in really quickly here. If you are listening to this through your laptop or your um, or your phone, make sure you've got some headphones on or some earbuds because you won't really be able to hear the bass that clearly through those speakers. The other thing is that these the tone that I'm using is a fairly clean tone so you can hear the difference in actual bass response. The thing is if you're using a bass rich tone with a very clean amp it just sounds bassy and kind of round which can be the sound that you're after if you run a super clean pristine clean sound but if you're using an amp with a little bit of dirt involved that's where the muddiness comes in and that's where you want to start to sort of carve some of that out of the low end if you're using uh, tones that are a little bit more dirty. So just wanted to make that clear, let's go back to the tests. <laughs> So as you can hear it does a decent job of really sort of opening up that low end. Now just to let you know if you've made it through to this section there is a free uh, diagram on our website. I've got the link in the description so just go and check that out. Hopefully if, if you're a visual person like me sometimes it can just make more sense seeing it sort of connected to a pickup. Okay guys I hope that was really helpful. Have a crack at it, see how it goes for you and we'll catch you in the next video.